I mean, for example, coming to this conference is an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. But in, in a sense of taking a step back from what you do and, and find inspiration. Um, because it is, whether you're in it already or you're new to it, service design is a, a messy thing that keeps changing and it's not so easy to put your finger on it. And I think my main, my main advice would be you can't do that much damage. Um, if you have a learning mindset and you're uh, you know, trying to reach out, there's so much that you can do every, every day to figure it out. And coming here is always sort of a reminder of all the things that you wanted to do and could do mm. and you get some new energy. Um, and I think sometimes in organizations it feels we are, we are trying to convince everybody that this is a good thing. Um, but then there are those moments where it just falls into place and something cool is happening. And I feel that if, if you want to be good at service design, it's about being good with, with people. It's about being curious. And I, I think most, most people have, have the ability to dream up a, a better way, but sometimes they don't take the time. Um, but I think, you know, creativity is something we spend a lot of time on the last few years to cultivate. That's not the problem anymore. But I, I love about design that it's also about doing something. So I think that would be probably sort of the ultimate. Try to do something and then you can learn and maybe take also time to reflect. So do, something along those lines. Do and reflect because we've been... Do and reflect. So I started in, in everything that I do now, I, even if it's one minute in the end, I mm. make sure there's time to reflect. Yeah. And it's incredibly valuable. So in every workshop, the rating goes up by one point. Mm. Because people, you, know, you just give people time to land and digest. And I think in our fast-paced lives, um, it's not always easy, but it's good. Good investment, one minute. Mm.